Welcome to episode 5 of Road to Millie. This episode is dedicated to my mentor Chris Bozio. If you're new to the channel guys, this is a challenge where I legit try to go for a million. Why am I thinking Chris Bozio and how does that relate to Road to Millie? It's November 10th, 7.52am. So as you guys know, we're still about 32k in debt. But today, we have a meeting with the SEO guy from India, the one I hired from Upwork. Um, he was working on planning strategy for Compound Cut Club. That's at 9am. At 11am, I have a meeting at the bank, ATB. My financial advisor told me that you can lower the rates, you can shop around, but if you shop at the same bank, they're usually going to give you a deal. At 2 p.m., I am looking at a Tesla just to see how much it would cost me to lease a Tesla and see if it makes sense to lease it under a business or something. Nothing is uh, nothing is planned with the Tesla. I just really want to go look at it because, you know, that's been my dream car for a year now, I think. All you guys know, I'm getting a Tesla eventually. And um, at 7, later tonight, I'm meeting with the homie Josue. If you guys don't know him, he's been in this channel. He's been in the podcast. He started the clothing brand and spoiler alert, maybe I'll start my own clothing brand. But let me tell you guys why I'm thinking Chris Bosio. If you're watching this and you can't relate with Chris Bazio and you don't get how this relates to Road to Millie, how this relates to you trying to get to Millie, in our generation, in our time, it's so easy to learn from anybody. But choosing the right person is the probably the most important part. So in any niche you're in, find somebody that has exactly what lifestyle you want, not just with their materialistic stuff, but how they live, what they spend their time on. For me, looking at Chris Bazio, he spends a lot of time teaching, he spends a lot of time with his family, he spends a lot of time barber shows. That's exactly what I want to be doing. So obviously I have my girlfriend. Um, Chris Bazio had his kid when he was 21. I'm 23. I think he opened his first barber shop at 21. I opened my first barbershop at 20 I think he opened a second shop right after but I'm at 23 still no second barbershop but I don't want to blame no COVID nothing no excuses but we're getting there so what I'm trying to say is that we're not lining up things just because of coincidence I learned from the guy and I replicated exactly what he did you might see it as a bad thing like copying somebody and what they do but that's the power of internet you can legit look at a successful person what they do every day and replicate it to your life and look at this guy too like, bro, this guy has a Model X, or his wife has a Model X. I'd do the same thing. He was doing all of that before on YouTube. But let me talk about his mentorship program. All right, guys. Now, I want to look back to my DMs just so that I can show you that I've been trying to connect with this guy, trying to thank him as much as I can for him, you know, teaching us for free. So much value. Not everybody sees the value in that. He started the mentorship about a few months ago. What his mentorship program is, you pay him. I think early access was 1500 US. But I think now it's about 2K just because he tried it out already. And I'm going to tell you if it works or not. I'm somebody that has been watching him for so long. Obviously, I'm super easy to sell to when it comes to him mentoring me. Legit, February 19, 2020. So this was before he even had a mentorship program. So obviously, when he launched it a few months ago, I was the first one to go on. Yes. Everything here might sound biased as fuck. If you're thinking of joining his mentorship program, everything I'm about to say might sound biased to you just because he's my idol. He's my mentor. Even before he um, launched the mentorship program. But let me show you guys what the mentorship program comes with. So coming into this, what I expected was, yeah, like the weekly calls straight to him, access to him, which I actually got. That's like by itself already worth it. As a barbershop owner, what I expected from this was, you know, knowing what it takes to open your second, third barbershop. Side note, guys, I'm not done all the mode modules yet and he's not done making the modules this is like a first impression only a few weeks in three four weeks in or no like a month in so far what i learned this is what you guys are gonna um see i'm gonna just show you what what it is real quick so modules marketing finances credit building see i'm not even done all this stuff live streams so that's what it is so what's so different about his mentorship program compared to what he teaches on youtube and stuff like that like i said earlier we live in a time where we can take someone successful as fuck and just pay them to teach you whatever they know and then you can easily replicate it. Yes, you still need to put in the work, but before online, before internet and stuff, usually you just go to school and hopefully learn as much as you can from there. It's kind of a gamble, like that stuff they teach, you don't even know if it works or not. 
So you gotta look at what your goal is first. If it's turning barber into a full-time career, building wealth, it's legit six-figure barber movement. That's what it's called. So if you wanna be a six-figure barber, yeah, take a look at Chris Bosio. So far, only going through about two and a half of the mo modules. I've already learned so much marketing tactics for my barbershop, SEO, backlinks, all that stuff, like the main foundation of a barbershop, trying to market locally. I knew how to market with the social media and stuff like that, but the power of having Google on your side is crazy. Crazy. We already got so many clients from it. I even have a friend who works as a marketing. Listen to one of his videos. Bro, I knew Bozio was smart, but I didn't know he was that smart. This guy knows like marketing words. Even my marketing buddy was impressed and he never even heard some marketing guys say those words that he's using. I expected a lot from mentorship program, but it ex exceeded my expectation. Yes. It's coming from someone that already learned so much from Chris Basio. I could have just had access to him and I would have been happy with this mentorship program already. But what he teaches will set you up for life. That's with the marketing of Compound, like of my barbershop. He also talks about personal finances. Now we can get into more of how is this guy actually going to help me become a millionaire. So he talks about exactly how he invests his money. He even showed how his wealth advisor advised him to invest his money. Like bro, wealth advisors are so super super expensive these are what doctors this is what like rich ass people hire to take care of their money he shared that on him that alone would have already saved you so much money obviously he talks about um your taxes to business entities what do you do with your cash like this guy just loves finances he always talked about it in his youtube channel a lot of people don't realize how important it is until one day they wake up like how i did and i was like you know what how am i in debt how am i making so much money and i'm still in debt and then i started this series from there too kind of just like a realization and it's a start of a change it's not only because of the information it's like he makes you realize this is how the game is played before i was playing the game day to day now i got an actual plan same with the road to millie like having access to what he does like the guy that i'm trying to become it's a copy and paste he even talks about how to credit repair, investing, wealth building. And there's nobody else in the industry that's doing this, guys. We don't deserve Chris Bosio. Some of us don't appreciate him enough for what he does for this industry, especially with this brand also, Tomb 45. But yeah, without Chris Bosio, I wouldn't be where I am today. And that's why I really wanted to make this video. Guys, I don't know if you listen to audiobooks and podcasts and all that. Like, the satisfaction you get when you learn something new from those books is just... It feels nice when I'm driving and when I'm taking a shower and stuff. I usually listen to audiobooks, but with the mentorship program and the modules, I usually just play them in the car now. And damn, I learned so many new things. I'm not just saying that just because it's Chris Bosio, but I legit do that. Like ask my girlfriend, all she hears now in the car is Chris Bosio. I think that's me finishing the Chris Bosio part of this video. I do got lots of shit to do today. It's almost 9 now. It's 8.21. I'm going to have to meet with the SEO guy. If you have any other questions with the mentorship program, if there's some stuff that I still didn't answer, just DM me on Instagram or comment down below. We'll answer your questions happily. Hello? Hi, Anne. How are you? Very good morning. No, this is perfect, man. I was expecting at nine, so I'm early. So. Oh, great. Uh, great. So, have you gone through the reports? I'm doing it. All right, guys. I wanted to show you real quick what the audit report looks like from the SEO guy. Super impressed by this. Just showing you what's wrong with your website and what they could do with it so much shit that we could optimize and yeah we're gonna do everything we can optimize everything make us number one just got done at the bank atv what happened was i applied for a credit card so that you know i can just keep paying off the loan or my the credit card through my debit so now I just gotta cancel Scotia Bank and then Walmart when this one has a high enough um, limit. I try to get my interest lower on on my loan, but the guy is saying that's already a really good interest rate. It's six point four five. I thought it was six point seven. But yeah, now we're gonna go back to the shop. A good link. Hey. 
Bro, I've been spinning you for like yeah. 20. <laughs> I've been wondering. <laughs> So far, the best thing that I heard from the whole meeting, the guy was a super nice guy, guys. Link will be down below. It's the best way to lease or rent a Tesla in Edmonton or even in Canada, I think. Yeah, anywhere in Canada. Like, I'll tell you the benefits. Um, obviously, it's not something you everybody would take advantage of, but he said, let's say we're on a lease for three years and then all of a sudden, I just ended up not wanting to do it anymore. I can give him 90 days notice and then cancel it. No fucking... No fee, no not nothing, bro. I'm like, shit, I'm down. I can just drive it for fucking six months. But obviously, I don't want to do that to the guy. But that is an option. What do you think? Bro, no brainer. That Model 3 is a, like an all-wheel drive Model 3, too. Not just it's the Yeah, the dual motor, motor joints. But if I do get the rear-wheel drive joints... You can drift. I could drift. <laughs> and it's cheaper so we're looking at about 950 lease every month but if i send him a client every month which i can easily could maybe it's half see that's why i tell you guys marketing is everything in life bro if you're good at marketing everything's free right if you're good at marketing to send him customers that means my tesla will be free i can market through my content and also market through running ads and seo for him like bro how do you have such good deal like he's got good terms everything makes sense why people would choose him instead of dealerships it's definitely something we're considering right now road to billy still maybe good market <laughs> it's now 8 30. we got Minion dance team here at Compound. They're gonna uh, record a dance video here. And then, uh, yeah, me, Fat, and Kyle are just gonna head to the studio. And no more work. Today has been a long day. I was supposed to have a meeting with Joe Sway, but apparently he rolled his car three times in the air. Yo, hopefully Joe Sway is okay. Hopefully he's okay, but I'm gonna go to the studio at the end of the day. We're gonna do some editing shit. I'm really excited to what these people have uh, to record here. We're here to build a community. Yeah, I'm not trying to build it. Check it out.